Hello everyone, welcome to my Black Ops Cold War Realism Walkthrough, and this is the first optional mission, Operation Red Circus, which by the way, is one of the hardest missions in the game, and it's also one of the most exciting and most exhilarating missions ever, because I replayed this mission so many times trying to get a very clean run of it, and I finally managed to get it, it took hours. But the whole entire time, I was enjoying myself. I had more fun doing this than going through Spec Ops back in the days of Modern Warfare 2 and uh, Modern Warfare 3. Those modes got very old, but this, this is insane. This is far more interesting because it's just a big map, and you're just having to pick your route accordingly, and then you're having to deal with the correct enemies and using your smoke grenades intelligently to get past the enemies. And it's funny I'm saying this because if this was any other Call of Duty game, I would not have enjoyed this mission because this mission does kind of come across as having a very similar format to the older Call of Duties, which is to say, very poor designs, but because it's this game, and this game has a lot of really fun designs, it's different. This was actually a lot of fun to go through. I really enjoyed this mission. And by the way, the reason why I was able to shoot those enemies just then was because if you press triangle twice during the startup frames of prepping your binoculars, you have the ability to fire. And because the missile hasn't been launched yet, when you shoot the enemies, they do not respond to your shots. So you can thin the herd before you even start the mission, which really helps out because these enemies get in the way whenever you're trying to get through these buildings. Now, go to this part of the pathway, prep your sniper rifle, because these enemies will spawn in when you get to this part of the pathway, and then try to get penetrating multi-kills on these enemies. There's three different spawns, and I missed that second spawn just then, but as long as you can clear out these enemies fast enough, and you clear out this guy right here, the other enemies that are closing in on you will not have enough time to take you out. Now swap to your XM4 and throw a smoke grenade. Smoke grenades are needed for every single building you go into because there are so many enemies and you need to either use this time to put yourself in cover to get away from the enemies or to grab a human shield. And this part right here, there are two enemies that can be in this room. Uh, for some reason, the second enemy doesn't show up. And then this right here, there are four enemies that can appear. While you're holding the human shield mechanic, use the explosive barrel to your advantage. And if you didn't get all four of them, be ready to fire. Now grab the ammo here to refill your smoke grenades, and then you need to swap to your sniper rifle, and you have to take out the two snipers and the rocket launcher guys. The rocket launcher guys are worse than the snipers. They will kill you in one hit, and they have the ability to fire the rocket launchers instantly. Like, they'll turn for a little bit, and then they, they just fire. There is no delay at all. They just fire instantly the moment they get their eyes on you. It's bullcrap. That's why you gotta take them out as quickly as possible. And as long as you kill those three enemies fast enough, the enemies that are right behind you will will not be able to deal enough damage while you're crossing this frozen lake and you will be able to throw another smoke grenade inside of this building and then you need to go to this side of the building in order to finish this objective here. Throw another smoke right here and grab more ammo for your smoke bombs. Throw two smoke grenades and then make sure one of the smoke grenades lands near the snowmobile in this direction. Make sure you refill on your smoke grenades again and then run past the enemies before the smoke dissipates. Get on here and start moving as fast as possible. Speed is key in this mission. You've got to move as fast as possible so that the enemies that are behind you do not catch you. But try to make sure that you don't go too fast because there can be enemies right in front of you. Like right now, on my left, there could be enemies setting up. And drive your small wheel over here and then toss a smoke as fast as possible. You do not have a lot of time before the enemies kill you. Go to this part of the building, and then go back out. That will clear the objective. Get back on your snowmobile, and start driving towards Rudnik. And move as fast as possible before the enemies set up in very dangerous positions. There are going to be a couple of enemies inside of this building. You've got to throw another smoke to stop them. I unfortunately got into a mishap where my snowmobile was in the entranceway, so I couldn't move. I had to drive it forward, and then I ended up getting off in this spot right here, and I nearly get clipped by the snowmobile. I could have died just then, but I got very lucky. And watch that side of the building. Try to heal as fast as possible, and then grab one of the enemies as a human shield to buy yourself some time to thin out the herd and make sure that you are staying alive. You've got to hold on to your human shield as long as possible, and then once the enemies give you a breather, feel free to terminate this guy, and then go ahead and breach the door. And this is going to queue a slow motion moment where you have to kill one guy and Rudnik, and it's very easy. And then this is where the easy part of the mission begins, because what's going to happen is you're going to gain access to the ability to use the evac smoke. And the evac smoke is an option where you have the ability to deploy smoke and call in your exfil. You can choose a location, only I find it very odd because obviously you'll want to use this location right here because this is the perfect place to set up. The enemies barely try to rush you when you're inside this room here, and there's also some ammo right there that you can get in case you need it, and this is it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
eke out of cover, and I'm going to clear out any enemies that are right here. I'm going to toss the smoke out the entrance way, and I'm just going to stand right here. Like I said before, the enemies are not going to rush you. You will also get the option to use air support, but I recommend using the air support when the icon that appears indicating that you can use the air support starts to disappear. And once you've used the air support, you won't be able to use it again. But by that point, you will have cleared up most of the enemies, and you will have no resistance from the enemies when you're trying to make your way over to the evac chopper. If anyone has played Modern Warfare 1, you will remember a moment in Modern Warfare 1 where you had to do something very similar with the Macmillan Defense. That was one of the worst missions on that game because it was so poorly designed on veteran difficulty. There was no cover, the enemies had perfect aim, there were just so many moments where you could get attacked during moments where you just couldn't control your character. Like for instance when you were trying to pick up Macmillan, or when you were trying to bring him over to the helicopter. And altogether, it just compounds into an RNG heavy mission that is not accommodating for veteran difficulty. That is a mission that is so poorly designed, it has to be designed for recruit difficulty, not veteran difficulty. You can tell that they designed that whole entire game for recruit difficulty, not veteran difficulty. And anyone who assumes that a broken game is accommodating for a higher difficulty, you are completely delusional. That whole entire sequence was just so broken on veteran difficulty easily one of the most hated sections ever but people still give it praise because they're like oh it's difficulty this is not this is exactly what i'm expecting from a call of duty game that's actually good well these people don't understand good game design and they are like empty individuals if they think an empty section like that is going to give them any kind of satisfaction this right here this is well designed the human shield mechanic the sniper rifle the smoke grenades like there's so many factors put into this mission that make it so much fun and make it feel like it's difficult for all the right reasons compared to the macmillan defense and at first glance, this may seem like a poorly designed mission, but in actuality, it's a really well-balanced mission that's a lot of fun, and it actually feels like it's worth replaying for multiple different reasons. I mean, the only part I don't like is the rocket launcher guys, because like I've explained, they fire way too fast, and the splash damage on the rockets is insane. They have so much range. You've got to get very lucky with the rocket launcher guys, or just move as fast as possible to avoid them. Other than that, you shouldn't have too much trouble. I mean, the guys that set up in the buildings, you've got to really make sure you plan ahead accordingly to place your smokes in strategic positions so that they do not attack you. If only the older Call of Duty games embraced such designs like this, maybe then they would actually feel better designed and veteran difficulty would actually be a challenge for all the right reasons. But no, the older Call of Duty games, veteran difficulty is just a slog fest of just having to wait for enemies to come to you and just, while you're sitting in one spot, shoot at them. And then you had those infinite spawn moments. I mean, there's no infinite spawns in this game, which is great. And you are so simplistically designed. You had no kind of complex mechanic in play. There was no way to balance out the enemies. They were just shit. And maybe I'll do a walkthrough of the older Call of Duty games just to really get my thoughts out and just approach them from a more informed context. So stay tuned for potential Call of Duty walkthroughs. But this is the end of this mission. Stay tuned for the next optional mission. Thank you all for watching, and you take care now.